Hey guys, Bios Ramos, and yes, got Maddie here with me today. It took me eight weeks. <laughs> it's hard, it's hard for me to come in. Uh, but, like I always do lately with the videos, I start off with mine and Matt's records. I'm gonna list off mine. I'm 57, 47, and one. Not a good week for me last week. And what about you, Matt? Uh, had a great week. You went That's 11 and told. three last week. My record is 63, 41, and one. And I'm feeling good, bro. Yeah, I'm 20. So I'm, I'm above 20 games. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm coming for you slowly but surely. No shot. <laughs> it's going to be a good week. Alrighty. So, with the first game of the week, we have Thursday Night Football. We have the Washington Redskins at the Minnesota Vikings. Maddie, who are you going with here? I got Minnesota. Yeah. Offense is clicking. Dalvin is playing as the best running back right now, mm -hmm. besides McCaffrey. But I got. I got the Vikings and Big Knight. Besides Dalvin, Big Knight for BC Johnson. Watch out, Fran. Yeah, I got Minnesota as well. They've been riding hot pretty right now, and Washington yeah. is just a team. I feel like they can just, you know, not run over, but just get the win off of them and no, continue I, on their strength. No, I strikes. think the Redskins. I, I think the Redskins are a better team than the record, but right now Vikings are just clicking right now. And Agreed. They're one game. Of, they're one game under Green Bay, so they have to keep up. Yeah. Green Bay isn't losing anytime soon. Yeah, I definitely agree with you that Washington is better than, than what the their record, record yeah. seems. Yeah. They're not a bad team. All right, let's go to the first game we have here of a Sunday, one o'clock. We have the Seattle Seahawks at the Atlanta Falcons. I'm going Seattle. I can't yeah. go against Russell Wilson, man. That's my guy. Yeah, that's that's my guy too. And see, I'm going Seattle. Atlanta is a joke right now, defensively, but they do stop the run good. But it's he's gonna tear him up. That's a Matt, team. And, and Matt Ryan's out, I think. Matty Ice is out. I think Matt Ryan is out. And they just traded away Mohamed Sanu. I, yeah, I, they, I don't see. They're it. they're gonna get they're. They're tanking it right now. Yeah. I think that team is just a team right now you face, so you get your confidence up. Julio Jones, though, had like an emotional speech after their loss yeah. last and week. Yeah, and he's, he's having a, I was looking at his numbers. He's having a good season. It's just, he's one of those players, he's not going to get into the end zone, but he, he he always puts up the numbers. Yeah, of course. But they're not, uh, Seattle's just going to pound them. Yeah. Alrighty. Next, we have Philadelphia Eagles at the Buffalo Bills. This is our first uh, scores of the week. Um, we're going Philadelphia, Matt. What about you? I got Buffalo, and I know it's in our in our division, but I want them to be as close as possible to New England. And <laughs> that looks <weird>. nice. <laughs> uh, but I want them to be as close as possible to New England, mm. just because if somehow maybe Buffalo wins the division and New England doesn't get that first run by, yeah. So I'm just going Buffalo, and I think Philly right now is they're falling apart. Yeah, because Buffalo, I feel like. Besides, like, they pretty much have one of the best chances to defeat the Patriots in any, of any of the teams, I think, yeah. honestly. Yeah, because it was a good game. Yeah, it was, it was, sick. It was, yeah, it was, it was a one-possession game between yeah. the two. And Josh Allen got hurt in that game, so yeah. you never know. I, not that Josh Allen was going to make a difference, but you never know. I mean, on that last drive, it could have. Yeah. So, yeah. you never know. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going Philadelphia. I have them winning by a field goal. 17-14, uh, to 14. what about you? Uh, same, same concept, field goal, but 2017 Buffalo. Yes. At Buffalo. And next we have the LA Chargers at the Chicago Bears. Bear down, baby. I'm going Chicago. They have to have a bounce back win. Yeah, this week. the uh, the Bears is a must win. Especially and after getting trampled they by got, the Saints. Yeah, they got smacked. And it's a big season for Trubisky and it's and I love Trubisky always. This is like fan. a prove it season for him because a lot of doubt is. Yeah, this man, year. and right now it's not looking good for him, but I think they I think they bounce back and they, they beat the Chargers. Yeah. Alrighty. Next we have the New York Giants at the Detroit Lions. Golden Tate redemption game. What do you think? Uh no, I got Detroit. Yeah, I got Detroit as well. I got Detroit. I don't think the Giants the Giants are just bad, bro. Yeah, the, bad team. there was just that that energy around the, the quarterback. Yeah. Uh, Danny. Danny Don't get me wrong, I think Saquon's gonna do good, but it's not gonna be good. Yeah, enough. he's coming back from the injury supposedly this week, so Yeah, but I, it won't make a difference. But I wouldn't be surprised though if the Giants end up do pulling this off. Yeah. It could be possible, but Detroit is talked about to be said of having the best team in the NFC North, no, which I, is a, pretty much the toughest division yeah, in Detroit, football. Right Detroit's now. Detroit's a tough team. And they don't blitz, so they're not it's not like they're gonna get to Daniel Jones, but it's But they will get pressure. I mean you saw what they did to Aaron Rodgers, yeah, so they're imagine a pressure. rookie quarterback. They're gonna get him. Alrighty, next we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This one was really hard for me to pick. I really wasn't sure who I should go on, but 
my gut was just telling me Tampa Bay. Um, even though Ryan Tannehill surprisingly is doing pretty well for the Tennessee Titans right now, um, I just I don't know. I just had a good feeling with myself. And I'm Tampa. going. I'm going with Tanny. I think Tanny is gonna. I think he does more for that offense than Mariota for mm -hmm. some reason. And Mariota is a better quarterback. But I, I just I think Tanny just does more what, with what the I've offense. seen Tannehill doing this so far at, with the Titans is he's having success moving the ball, just just getting the yeah. ball down the field. Ta uh, Mariota would be trying to make too much like try to make too much out of nothing. Tannehill yeah. w uh, was doing well with controlling how the play is going, and if it's a bad play, just get rid of the ball and exactly. stuff like that. Exactly, and I think Tannehill is he like you said he just moves the ball better with with these guys, and I don't know why, but. If I'm Tennessee, man, I'm I'm, I'm running the ball. I'm, yeah, I'm feed 20. the ball to Derrick Henry. Listen, the guy in college was running it 40 times a game. Just keep 25, 25 carries. Just let him let him burst and, out. And he can break and lose any play. Like yeah. The play you saw him do against Jacksonville, I think it was last year. I mean, he was exactly was just a He's, phenomenal run. Yeah, he can do it, but you just gotta feed him, get him in rhythm. All righty, let's go over to Cincinnati Bengals at the LA Rams, which is kind of funky. Uh, LA team having a game start at one o'clock. Oh yeah, that is weird. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, I think that's a London game, right? Yeah. Maybe. It Maybe, might be. right? It might be a London game. So, anyways, uh, I'm going LA. Uh, Cincinnati is just like Dolphins are tanking, but Cincinnati is just horrendous. Like they're. Yeah, and I don't even think. To be honest, I don't think Cincinnati is trying to tank. Yeah, they're, it, just, it they're looks, just not getting just, the wins. They're together. not getting wins, and they've had some close games. Week one against Seattle. That was that was a pretty good game. That was a good game, but I think I, I don't think they win this week. I have I have uh, LA. Just, I feel like they'll compete with LA, but just like every game, like, yeah. they, they've been competing, but they haven't finished the job getting the win. Exactly, and I don't think LA is that good this year. I think they can't stop. They to me, they're defensively they're horrible. Yeah, but. But we'll see. Maybe Jalen Ramsey. He, he's pretty good. I'm not a fan, but uh, we'll see what he does. <laughs> Alrighty. Next we have the Arizona Cardinals at the New Orleans Saints. Going Nola. Teddy Bridgewater is on a roll right now. Uh, but Drew Brees could possibly return this game. I'd say for him not to because just not to just to avoid being injured even worse. Yeah. Right now I, I I'm gonna do New Orleans because if they can win this game they'll be what seven and one i think they'll be yeah. seven and one yeah and then they get the bye and then drew Brees comes back healthy so i think just to win this game go into the bye confident and have uh, drew Brees come back i think i i think right now uh, the yeah. saints win this game next we have the new york jets at the jacksonville jaguars it was a rough it was a rough game, not last week, but the week before for Minshew against the Saints. It was just, you couldn't overcome that offense yeah. that they had out there. But, um, and it was a tough game against the Panthers. They lost to. Yeah. So, but I'm going Jacksonville. I think Minshew will bounce back. He's doing pretty good. He's in the conversation for rookie of the year. So, I think yeah. he'll be good. Yeah, we'll see. And, I don't know, the Jets are just not looking, not looking like. Yeah, the Jets are bad right now. The Jets. They they literally wasted a minute of of, of clock because they didn't want to give the Patriots uh, like the they they delayed a game uh, for the punt and they didn't want to give them the five yards to go back. Yeah, I think the Jets are a bad team right now. They're they're not good. Yeah. And he's seeing go so it's a bad game. Yeah. All right. Next we have the Denver Broncos at the Indianapolis Colts. Indianapolis is on a roll. I, I'm going Indianapolis. Yeah, I got Indy best all, best all line in football right now. So I, I gotta go Indy. There's nothing really for me to say. Just Indy. Indy's the better team. Alrighty. Next we have the first four o'clock game. We have the Carolina Panthers at San Francisco 49ers. San Fran is looking like the team to be in the NFC. Possibly them and Green Bay are the top two teams. I, I gotta say in, in the NFC. Yeah, for me it's for me I'm going San Fran. That team is just my God. And they drafted They're four They're coming years together well defensively. And let me tell you, four years in a row, they've just drafted linemen, 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 and linemen. And they're they're, they're showing now, man. And Nick Boza, Nicky yeah. B. Yeah. And then they just traded for Emmanuel Sanders. So that's just going to add to their offensive Yeah, power. that's going to be awesome. Next, we have the Oakland Raiders at the Houston Texans. This has not only... Uh, division? No, this is not a division game. It's not? Because they're AFC West and then uh, Houston's AFC oh, South. that's right. Yes, yes, yeah. But it has implications for Dolphins. Yeah. In the sense of the first round pick that they got from Houston this mm -hmm. year. Um, so, I'm going Oakland, winning 23-17. to 17. I think it's going to be a, about a touchdown difference. I, I got... I know I want to do Oakland because of the draft picks, but I'm going Houston, 33-23. I just think... 
Houston right now is they're they are playing good. Yeah, they struggled last week, but they're man when yeah. Deshaun is on, Deshaun's on. Yes, but Oakland had a tough loss against Green Bay last week. Yeah. And and they've been they've been pretty decent this year. They haven't been too no, good, they haven't been too bad. They've been quite and a I think in between. O yeah, Oakland's gonna be good in a few years. I yeah. think it's just gonna take some time. Alrighty. Next we have the last four o'clock game. We have the Cleveland Browns at the New England Patriots. Uh, let's see if uh, Baker Mayfield sees some ghosts this week, huh? Um, I think he will, and I think I got New England winning this game just because the Browns right now are are they're bad. Yeah, they're bad, they're bad but surprisingly, I'm going with the Browns. I want them to upset the Patriots and and hopefully get, you know. Uh, a win and just bounce back, get get back to where they want to be at. Yeah, I think, but, thank God, man. They, this that is defense. the must win that they need. If they get this win here, this will turn around the entire season. I can yeah, tell you that. No, for sure. And New England's just too powerful right now. So I got New England. Yes, sir. And then finally, we got uh, Sunday Night Football. Green Bay Packers at the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, I'm if, going If Green this Bay. was Patrick Mahomes in this game, we're going. We're going. Uh, probably Kansas City. I don't know. No, I'm still going Green Bay. <laughs> I'm going Green Bay, 38-24. I'm going Green Bay, 35-27. I mean, Pat, Patty Mahomes is not in there. It's just going to be very tough for Kansas City to yeah. just move the ball through the air. I think they're going to score, but I, I just don't see it. And the, and their run game has not been really. They haven't really been having a run game going on. So yeah. We'll see. And then finally, we have Monday Night Football. Usually, I would save the Dolphins game for the last uh, of the video, but it is the last of the video. Monday Night Football, Miami Dolphins at the Pittsburgh Steelers. Maddie, who are you going with? Uh, just because of the draft pick implication, I, I'm going with Miami this week. But do you, ha do you think they have a, a reasonable chance of winning? Uh, uh, it's it's tough. I don't I don't know because the offense for Steelers is struggling, but they've had bursts. Like they'll have one good game, then off, then Connor hops on again. But defensively, Miami's look better every week. Offense is up and down, more down. But um, I think Miami can pull it off. I think they win by a field goal. Yeah. Steelers defense is good though. I have it more than a field goal, and this is just being a little bit optimistic. But I have the Dolphins winning, uh, 24 to 13. One, just because of the, the draft implicant. Uh, yeah. Impl oh my God. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and not only that, the Dolphins have been doing well. Like, they've been, every week you see them improving on something else and something else. And the final thing I feel like they need to do is just close out a game and get the for W. Sure. So, pretty much that's it for the Dolphins to do, honestly. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's our game picks for week eight of the 2019 NFL season. And we'll see you guys soon. Fins up.